Okay, so I have some thoughts on Kara and this mass exodus to this new social media platform. But I just wanted to have just a casual talk with you guys, all 3,000 of you guys on there or whoever, how many little people watch this, I don't really care. I just want to get these thoughts out. So to catch you all up to speed, if you don't know, there's a mass exodus of people or artists leaving Instagram for this new social media website or app called Kara. And Kara is is kind of like a mixture of Twitter and Instagram. It's really cool. I got an account myself and just checking it out. And it's it's just a really nice place. And the reason why people are leaving Instagram is number one, Instagram just is not very, it's not as good as it used to be for still images. Years ago, I could get so many eyes on my art just by using hashtags. Nowadays, I have 10,000 followers and not even like 5% of my audience the people that actually follow me actually see the work that I post. Number two, and this is the biggest reason why people are leaving Instagram for Kara is because Meta, the parent company of Instagram and Facebook, is using images that we post to Instagram to train its AI. How it's being used, I don't really know. It's not really the point of this video. You can watch a ton of other videos of what's happening. The, the main point I wanna talk about this video is that I don't think people should just completely abandon Instagram just yet because there is one important factor that people are missing and that is the audience. Right now, Kara, like I said, it's a great place. It feels really nice. It's a little buggy right now because of the large amount of people trying to make accounts. But right now, if you scroll through Kara, it just feels like another art station, only reserved for concept artists and illustrators. I don't think originally it was supposed to be like that. It was created by uh, a photographer named um, uh, Jingna. Zhang. She was like featured in Asia's 30 under 30 in 2018. So she has a giant portfolio under her belt and she wanted to create this platform. And I'm sure with her photography background as the first people, the first kinds of people that she wanted to target with this new app. To bring it back to the main point, Kara right now just feels like ArtStation 2.0. I was on threads and yes, I think Twitter is a mess right now. I don't even use it anymore, but I was on threads and there was a traditional artist on there that was kind of complaint. I wouldn't say complaint. But, and they were upset with the large amount of illustrators and concept artists on there that they didn't even want to partake in posting in there because it just felt like a digital artist social media. And if and if traditional artists aren't feeling pulled to post there, I question if the regular person would want to post there too. And a lot of our audience as a creator, as someone who makes stuff for people, a lot of our followers on Instagram are everyday non-artist people. And if Kara isn't a place for a non-artist person to make an account, join Kara and follow people, then we're going to lose a huge chunk of our audience that we shouldn't just abandon. So right now I am creating a comic and this comic I want to share with everyone. I don't want to share it with just other artists like myself. There's so many artists all around the world different kinds of people that I think would enjoy this story that I'm trying to create. And right now, Kara just does not feel like the place for me to share my stories with those non-artist people because there's nothing pulling them to the app. So I don't know exactly what Kara needs to do. I'm not here to give a solution. I'm a dumb guy on an internet. I, that's why I became an artist in the first place. If you're watching this right now, I just wanna convince you guys to just don't abandon your audience on Instagram until Kara can kind of figure out what it is at this moment. Because I don't wanna like repeat myself over and over again, but the audience is the, the reason why we want to tell stories is because we wanna share those stories with all sorts of people. And, and I know Instagram is a terrible place. It's It just has not been very good to me at all. I totally understand it. And I, like I said before, I made an account. I'm ready to jump ship. But as of right now, this is the thing that I think Kara needs to work on first, being a little bit more inviting to the everyday person, not just artists, not just illustrators or concept artists.